principles of inheritance and variations. So, Mendel published his experiments in the year 1965 in the publications Experiments on Plant Hybrids. But for his experiments, no, his contemporary was, contemporaries was uh, not accepted. Why they are not ex accepted means, so there is no proper publication and communication is the, uh, one of the drawbacks. And he given the idea of factors and genes and the factors and genes with the two alleles, two contrast alleles, they remain in the contra contrast alleles remain in the long time but they do not blend. That concept was not accepted by the scientists. It means law of segregation and law of dominance both are not accepted by the uh, scientist, co contemporary scientist and one of the um, um, uh, application that is application of the mathematics and statistics in the biological field that is invented by the Mendel only. So that is not also accepted by the contemporary scientists and also unable to provide the physical proof of the gene. So that is also one of the drawback of uh, his uh, failure and after his death his uh, discoveries are rediscovered by the scientists Devries. Corens and uh, Sharmak. So they con conducted the experiment, re reconducted the experiments of the Mendel and uh, they also called as a rediscoverer for the Mendel experiments. And say at the same time microscope was invented and nucleus also found within the cell and chromosome material also found at the same time. So after discovery of the chromosomes, Sutton and Bavary both scientists worked on the chromosome. While they are working on the chromosomes, they concluded that they identified that chromosome behavior is parallel to the behavior of the genes which are postulated by the Mendel. So it means there is a similarity between the Mendel genes and chromosomes present in the cell and they using the Mendel inheritance principles and also chromosomal behavior by using of these characters they postulated the one theory that is chromosomal theory of inheritance. It means the chromosomal, chromosomal theory of inheritance is the combination of Mendelian principles as well as chromosomal behavior. According to that, they are uh, they are prepared the they are postulated the chromosomal theory of inheritance. But experimentally, that uh, experimentally proof of chromosomal theory of inheritance is given by the scientist T. H. Morgan. Thomas Hunt Morgan. He conducted the experiment on the fruit fly that is Drosophila insect. So the Drosophila insect is very, it is a fruit fly, it means it live on banana fruit and also uh, it easily propagate, it means it gives easily progeny and also it is easily multiplies. So based on some um, advantage characters they gone to the study of the uh, chromosomal theory of inheritance but he got the results are surprised why they are why he got the surprise results means when the when it compared with the mendel's dihybrid cross the pea plant when the cross is taken uh, with the help of di cross dihybrid cross there is a 9 is to 3 is to ratio of phenotypes but when same type of the experiment, same type of the experiment conducted by the Morgan in the Drosophila by using of the contrast characters of uh, round body, round bodies, white color, sorry, round bodies, yellow color, yellow color and brown bodies with white color. So these two contrast ca characters are selected for uh, uh, dihybrid cross uh, in fruit fly. So uh, while crossing they got resulted, so the, resulted, uh, the, the results are not similar to the 9 east 3 east 1. So they are variated from the 9 east 3 east 1. And he got the two types of the progeny. 
what are the two types of the progeny means one of the progeny are very similar to the parents so that's why they are given as parental type of progeny so parental types and another progeny are non parental type non parental type out of the 100% of progeny they received the 98.7 percentage are belongs to parental type remain 1.3 percentage belongs to the non parental type so what are parental type and what are non parental type so the character the complete characters are shown by the progeny are more or less similar to the parental types so they are they are called parental type and non parental type means another type of it means additional characters it means the characters which are not present in the parents that are appeared into the uh, progeny so they are called non parental types so two types of the progeny he observed okay after his observation he given one concept what is that concept means so there is a physical association so there is a physical association among the genes the genes which are present on the same chromosome it means so within the same chromosomes the genes are present but the genes are having the some physical association that is also called as linkage okay it means the linkage taken uh, among the linked genes what are linked genes linked genes are nothing but so all the genes present on the same chromosomes are called linked genes so the linked genes are shown the linkage phenomena what is linkage phenomena so the linkage phenomena is tendency of retain parental character even in offsprings so that is called linkage when the linkage is high the recombinants formation are low what are recombinants genetically variated ones genetically variated ones means when you compared with the parents they show the genetic variations so they are called recombinants how the recombinants are produced due to the crossing over what is crossing over crossing over is the process when it occurred means it occurred in packeting stage of meiosis okay so there the inter interchange of genetic information or interchange of segments chromosomal segments between non sister chromatids that is called crossing over due to the crossing over the recombinants are produced so when the recombination is high it means the recombinational rate is high the linkage rate is low but he conducted the experiment on drosophila the results are favorable to the parental type 98.7 percentage and non parental types are 1.3 percentage only it means what is the high here here the linkage is high so the linkage high is high means the formed recombinants are low so he observed what he observed means the linkage and recombination have the relation so what type of relation it have means uh, inverse uh, inverse relation it means high rate of linkage is there means low rate of recombinations so high of recombinations are formed means low uh, low rate of linkage so that clearly gives the linkage and um, uh, recombination relationship okay and after that by using of recombinance frequencies recombination frequencies how the recombination frequencies are determined so by using of recombination frequencies genetic map maps are constructed genetic maps are constructed